and welcome Taurus Rose Burnett here and this is your singles love reading for June 2023 it is a general reading so as trust yourself on what resonates leave what does not big welcome to those that are new to my channel those that follow me regularly you're rocking awesome love your support and if you enjoy my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell to make sure you get notified of when my videos get released all right let's dive in oh before we do there is a competition running again this month so you can go into the draw to win the enchanted map Oracle, beautiful deck by Colette, Colette Baron Reed, if I can say that correctly. To win this deck, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel, put a comment down below you want to win this deck, and you'll go into the draw. There's also a 45-minute pre-recorded personal reading up for grabs with me, so I'll be looking for a very positive community member. Also, let me know down below you want to win that. You will go into the draw. And uh, the winners for May have been announced. I'll link in the video to that. I'll also put the names down below. Uh, so make sure you check that because both of those uh, prizes have yet to be claimed by the winners. So get in touch. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in, my loves. You can also get all of my free astrology readings, my inspirational videos on my Spotify podcast in both audio and video. If you want to listen wherever you go. All right, Taurus, let's see what's coming towards you in terms of love. No, you got the message to keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So not having a fixed idea of what your soulmate should or shouldn't be, yeah? being open to differences with people. And you got the message to release your ex. It's time to clear your energy. So some of you still have some energetic stuff happening or emotional things you need to release. Mm. And you call an inner soulmate. So actively looking for a soulmate putting that energy out there to attract a soulmate to you. Oh, and you've got confirmation. Yes, this is your soulmate. So there's certainly one coming or you've recently met one. You got the message to retreat, to take some one-on-one -on -one time to get to know someone. It's sitting directly under keeping an open mind. And there's some forgiving and learning to do from the past, directly related to you releasing an ex. So there's some life lessons there that you need to learn. And to make the effort in love, yeah, to put that effort in. Mm, you've got engagement here sitting directly under soulmate. Hello. So there's certainly a beautiful love coming towards you if they're not already in your life. All right, let's pull you some guidance from the Angel Answers Oracle. Oh, you've got a no here. This is super interesting. Why is there a no? Okay, you've got improving health here. So perhaps there's some timing issues. Uh, if some of you are planning a little getaway, there could be some timing issues around that. Okay. You've got a timeline a year from now. So possibly not to rush into things. There's also an opportunity coming into your life. It's going to bring a lot more coin in. Mm. Wow. In terms of this X, you've got reconsider. So you may have an X trying to come back into your life. Spirit's saying there'll be a peaceful resolution of that connection. Doesn't mean that you're going to get back together. Yeah, Spirit's saying wait. Mm-hmm. Wait, my loves. Okay, you've got communicate clearly. It's directly related to this soulmate connection. So expressing your feelings and saying don't stop and there's no need to worry. So keep moving forward. You've got a divine plan unfolding right now around your love life. All right, singles, let's dive deeper. What is it you need to know? Well, you're feeling balanced and empowered in a beautiful state of being, and yet there's still a bit of release of the X to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, my smile hides the fact that I'm lonely and would love a partner. Well, Spirit's saying make the effort. <laughs> and you're focusing on your career and yourself right now. Nothing wrong with that. All right, let's have a look at new love. Let's see what's coming towards you. Oh, it was fun, but I didn't feel a deep connection. Either you or them or both. It feels easy and flows naturally. So that's kind of interesting. So even though there is that connection, there wasn't a deep enough connection. And each day I grow closer to you. 
So there's also a soulmate energy here. Oh, there's a mutual attraction and sizzling chemistry. Anything else? It's new, but I have a special feeling about you. So it feels like you've got two energies here. All right, let's get to the heart of the matter. Plus an X. <laughs> well, you're a little busy, Taurus. <laughs> oh, this is your guidance. Oh, you got way too excited and didn't take the time to find out your intentions. So perhaps you weren't on the same page with someone about what you wanted, what they wanted. Oh, and you push people away when you feel emotionally vulnerable. Well, that's uh, kind of a little bit of a self-sabotaging thing going on there. And it wasn't you. I was just looking for something different. So... Uh, perhaps it was on your side that there wasn't a deep enough connection. Well, ghosting was easier than my um, explaining. It's my go-to tactic. So this is the person that you didn't feel a deep connection with may have ghosted you or you've ghosted them. Yeah, and Spirit's saying not that way. There's something better. Even though it felt natural and easy, there's something better. Mm, you got the message you jump in too fast without getting to know them first. Well, this person where there's sizzling chemistry going on. And commitment phobic will never fully commit. It's kind of interesting energies playing out here. And lost the love of my life so no one else will hold that space. You kind of got to ask yourself, Taurus, which side of the equation you're on because you've drawn one person to you that um, I think you were looking for something different and then you pushed them away, mm -hmm. even though it felt easy and flowed naturally. And you're drawing someone to you where there's a mutual attraction, sizzling chemistry, um, but they've got baggage. They're commitment phobic and they've lost the love of their life. So nobody else will hold that space unless you're feeling like that. Mm -hmm. oh, a little complicated. Let's have a look at relationship influences. Firstly, you, Taurus. Oh, you're in some sort of recovery right now. Health recovery. Mm, and you got the message to trust. So perhaps trust is important to you. We need to trust more. And you need to step into your personal power, your strength. All right, let's have a look at this one where there wasn't a deep connection. Oh, they need to apply a lot of self-love at this time. And they're doing some heart healing. So perhaps that really hurt, darlings. Uh -huh, as much as you didn't feel it, you probably hurt the other person quite significantly. Mm -hmm. um, watch that energy. So this person over here, you've got another energy over here who's afraid of rejection. So when we get these kind of messages, right, we've got to look at our own energy as to what needs balancing because this is what you're attracting to you. And they have trust issues. Mm -hmm. And they need to heal the feminine. So what does that mean? So if I'm talking to the, if I'm talking to the guys... No, let me get this right in terms of gender because the messages are slightly different. So heal the feminine. You might have somebody, if, it, if, this, if this is a feminine energy and you're a guy, they're standing too much in their masculine energy and they're in control. They like to take control, yeah? If we're talking to the girls and this is a guy, they may have a skewed um, relationship with the feminine because of, they've been hurt in the past. Right, so they may, they may paint all feminine energies the same way and expect the worst versus people being different, if that makes sense to you. Feminine energy is also our emotional side, being emotionally vulnerable, open, our creativity, our inner child. All right, let's have a look at love attributes. Firstly for you, Taurus. Oh, you're very generous, generous of spirit. And children are a factor in your love life. So your children, other person's children, wanting children, and you like your one-on-one -on -one time. It's important to you. All right, let's have a look at this connection where there was some, uh, didn't feel a deep connection. So they like to, their love languages, they like to hear it. So communication is really important. 
and they're a bit of a warrior, so a little bit anxious. Let's have a look at this one over here who's got a say mixed bag, works, this one. So status and prestige is important to them, you and them. Uh, they're a bit anxious, so you've not only attracted a warrior, you've also attracted somebody who's anxious. And intimacy is important to them, or they have some issues around intimacy. All right, let's pull you a message from the Lovers Oracle. Firstly, for you, Taurus. Mm. Have a look at this, kind of curled up. It says it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. So perhaps you're trying too hard. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at this person here where there wasn't a deep connection. Oh, they're kind of laying down, dare I say, in the moonlight. It says surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives, let go, and all will work out. So they've either got to let go of this connection or there's something from the past they still need to let go of. And let's have a look at this energy over here where they're a bit anxious. They've got all sorts of things going on. Okay. Okay, there's a beautiful loving connection here. It says embrace through each other. You find the missing pieces. So perhaps you're going to mirror each other's energy in some way. All right, let's put you some guidance from the Whispers of Love Oracle. Firstly for you, Taurus. Oh, you've got the heart of the matter. There's more going on than meets the eye either within yourself and also with the people that you're meeting. Mm. This one's got actions speak louder than words. So express your love through action. So this person probably does things to show their love. Yeah, it's part of their love language. And this person over here needs to ask for help. Yeah, they need to figure out what they really need and be willing to ask for support. So perhaps they're a bit stoic yeah, and try and do everything themselves. All right, let's have a look at the energy playing out here. Firstly for you, Taurus. Oh, darlings, here we go. Some anxiety going on right now. I'm not surprised. <laughs> you're not doing too well, darlings, with the love, love matches here. Again, you got the message you need to step back and take some time out to rest and relax. Mm, possibly worrying about your choices in love, who you're connecting with in love. Any other guidance there? Oh, it's really thinking about it. Mm, you got your heart chakra here, so you've got to trust your heart to guide you. All right, let's have a look at this one that was unrequited. Okay, they got a bit of they've got some financial constraints going on. But they've also got man holding a coin. So if this is a if this is a masculine energy, they're certainly working on their coin. Hmm. And there's some deceit going on here. Or they've been through deceit. Any other guidance? Mm, okay. They've got a lot of attachments and indecision going on, possibly to the past, yeah, because they need to let go. All right, let's have a look at this energy over here. Oh, they've got lack going on as well, or envy going on. Jeez, Taurus. Okay. you got man holding a heart here. So, guys, you may find yourself being very supportive of this person if this is a feminine energy you're attracting to, to you. Um, girls, this person is very strong, right, but they've got certainly some underlying things going on around a state of lack in some aspect of their life. All right, <laughs> let's pull some guidance from the crystal reading deck. Oh, this is for you, Taurus. You're going through a spiritual awakening, so possibly more connectedness to your spiritual side, exploring it a bit. And you're learning 
going through a learning phase right now, possibly about yourself, and you need to step into your personal power. Perhaps you're learning to step more into your personal power. All right, this person in the middle has got a lot of attachments they need to release. Yeah, they're facing the shadow side of themselves right now. And music's going to be very soothing and healing for them. And they've also got to focus on their physical body. And they've also got meditation. So there's a lot there around soothing their energies. Okay. This other person over here, if you're supportive and you're patient, you will have success, Spirit saying. It's not going to be easy, though. Okay. They have got abundance coming in. So there's possibly a gap in their finances until that abundance is coming in. And that will bring them into a state of peace. So at the moment, they're in a bit of an anxiety around their finances. Mm-hmm. All right, let's pull your soulmate message. Quite the complicated reading, Taurus, I've got to say, with the energies you're dealing with. All right, this is for you. It says, it's a favourable time for matters of the heart, a time of inspiration and healing, a relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. Oh, this person in the middle here. Oh, let us be the love we seek. Let us be the change we wish to see. Let us give freely to one another without condition, for it is in giving that we receive. So perhaps there's some um, conditional love going on there. And this person over here where Spirit's saying you need to be very supportive if, this, if you want this person. Uh, in order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realise that spiritually we're always connected to those we love. Yeah, neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. So perhaps they physically lost a person from their world in terms of being widowed um, or they're still pining over an ex or have an ex that they're connected to in their heart space. They need to release it. Mm -hmm. All right, my loves, those are your messages. Love to hear your feedback in your comments down below and how this resonated with you. Uh, make sure to let me know the prizes you want to win this month. Reach out for personal reading if you feel like you need, oh, I'm going to say clarification, darling. You might need clarification on this. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link on here and down below. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.